Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stacy. And y'all, I want to sit here and talk to y'all about a little something, something. But before I do, don't forget to like this video, leave your comments down below, and please share this video with someone. Okay, y'all. And y'all, let me, before I even get into this, let me go ahead and I want to do a shout out to my website. If you look at the banner on my page, on my YouTube page, you'll see it says StacyBrownSpeaks.com. That is my new website where I do a lot of, you know, I'm doing a lot of things. It's, it's, it's a lot of good things that's going to be taking place there. So, y'all, if you get a chance, go check out my website, StacyBrownSpeaks.com. Um, again, it's up and running. You can leave me emails on there. So if it's the things you want to talk to me about, uh, discuss privately, you can leave them on that um, on that website, and I will respond. And I got a lot of new things that's in the works that as they get active and as they up and running, I will definitely share that with y'all. But please also check out my website, Stacy S T A C Y Brown B R O W N Speaks. S P E A K S dot com. Stacy Brown speaks. Okay, y'all. Now, this what I wanted to talk. I felt like talking about it, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah. A lot of people want to know, and so now I'm gonna talk about it. And this, I'm probably gonna talk about it in more than one video, but I will start out in this one, and that is, why did I get married? Okay. And the reason why I guess I'm talking about this is because I had a conversation. It wasn't one that I, you know, I, I it was just it was time to have this conversation because I was tired of the little the the shade being thrown, the little slick comments here and there that were getting back to me. And you know, even though I said in one video, stop trying to clear your name, what other people think about you. It's none of your business, but when you bring the disrespect to my doorstep, that's when I'm going to have to check you. What you say behind my back and to other people is none of my business because I wasn't there. If you want me to know, you'll tell me. But when you're so bold, and I realize a lot of times people get bold, in, in my case, the boldness comes from being offended or feeling some kind of way or your feelings being hurt. And... The I get this text and it says, "Is your friend there? Who, who who is my friend? You mean my wife? No, she's not. Why? Cause I want. Uh, can you talk? If this is gonna get disrespectful, no, I cannot. I mean." And the words was, damn, uh, I just want to talk to you for a minute. You know, you, you, you've been so, you on lockdown, you, you can't talk, you can't do nothing no more. Let me tell you one. And you know what? I had the conversation. I said, let me explain something to you. First of all, I get it. You feel in some kind of way, but what you will not do, do not refer to Carrie as my friend. If you don't want to call her by her name, you don't want to say your wife, say your folks or your people. But what you don't do is refer to her as my friend. That's di to me, that's disrespectful because what you're doing is you're making, you're, 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 you're downplaying what we are. We're not just kicking it. We ain't hanging out. We ain't. You know, not, we are married. We are legally married and have been for over two years now. And if you ain't came to grips with that or you haven't come to terms with that, that is your problem. But what you don't do is you don't disrespect me because nowhere have I disrespected you in the time of ever knowing you. Many times it warranted the disrespect. I should have been cussed you. I should have been just totally told you how I really feel, but I didn't because you know what? 
I can't control what you do, but I can control how I respond to it. And I had to just go on and lay it down. Because the question was, you know, again, you got a problem with the fact that I got married. Is it that you have a problem that I got married? Or do you have a problem that I got married to a woman? Or is it both? I suspect in your case, it's both. How you feel about same-sex relationships is your business. I don't care. It's none of my business. But what you will not do is you will not disrespect me. You don't have to like nothing that I'm doing or saying. You don't have to agree with it, but you will respect it. Because many a times you have done things that I did not agree with. You're still doing things that I don't agree with, but I don't disrespect you. Because that's not my place. Everybody deserves respect. And the the it, it came out that you that he felt, and this was an ex, he felt like I shouldn't have gave up on him. I done wasted so much of my life fooling with you, going back to you because you was familiar ground. See, I can identify when one of in my video would stop ignoring the red flags when a, a subscriber or someone commented and was talking about dealing with somebody and keep going back and wanting to go back because they already knew that person. They 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 was used to the foolery. They knew what to expect. I kept going back because you was my backup plan. And I hate to say it, but this was my attitude. You're something to do until something better come along. That was my attitude then. Because at that time, I didn't. I had trust issues. I had a whole bunch of issues going on. So I was not trying to be in nothing serious anyway. So it's like I realized now. I realized that. As I got older, now in my life, I can look back on it and I can identify with some of the things I was doing. I was choosing, I was always dealing with unavailable people. People that I knew, and that was my safeguard. I never realized it. But, and even when I did, I didn't fully acknowledge it. I dealt with people that I knew were not available, that I knew I would not, even if I started really liking them or feeling them, I knew it will only go so far. So that kept me from having to do some soul searching and, and figuring Stacy out because I'm like, eh, I ain't serious about this. But my thing was, you got mad. It's not that you're mad that I moved on. You're mad because I decided not to keep coming back. And even when you, you know fully well that I'm married, but you still try from time to time. Sending messages and stuff through from phone numbers that I don't recognize because yours is blocked and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, you know what? You're not, you're mad because you feel in some kind of way because I. it wasn't that I chose a woman. It just so happened that this was someone that was in my life that I kept saying no to, but never gave up and let's be honest I had always said my prayer was I know I had issues y'all and I have I have really grown and I have dealt with them but a lot of again my issues came from my past and that was and I remember one day crying out to God and saying I want someone that can look past all of this. Look past the exterior. And see the in interior. See Stacy. Understand me. Understand my history. Understand my past. Understand that. I have a lot of walls built. But if I'm worth it to you. You will help me. Knock down the walls brick by brick. When the old saying goes, when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you'll do something about it. That's a true statement, y'all. That's a true statement. I got sick and tired of going through the drama. And when I would try to 
say, okay, Stacy, focus on him. Then here comes the cheating. Here comes the 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 other foolery. You know, the constant lies and you know because you got issues you haven't worked out. You think that I've never been beat. You're not gonna talk to me in the kind of way. You're not gonna talk to me. Talk crazy to me and then think it's okay and I'm going to keep... No, I'm not going to keep going through that. So I'm going to let you find somebody that fits that bill for you. Because that's what you need. You need somebody that is going to let you talk to them any kind of way. And they go, and, and they go stay there. For whatever reason. I'm not hurt. Why? Because I know who I am. I know my self-worth. And the thing was... When I met Carrie... I met her, everybody know, we met through, she originally met, saw me on YouTube. And from there, she found me on Facebook. And then that's where it started. We started communicating. She knew full well that I had never been dating a woman. I was not interested in women. But she saw something and she did not give up. And she kept going, no matter what came up, whatever happened. And even... When things got tough, we still stuck, you know, in the beginning, we stuck in that. Now, it had got to a point that, as y'all know, we did separate. But that was at the point where, again, I still needed to grow. She still needed to grow. And in my head, she doesn't agree with it. But in my head, from my, where I'm standing, where I'm looking, we was doing more bickering and more this this we was doing more of that than we were trying to, to work to, you know get not argue and get along and you know it's like I have always shied away from confrontation and again the why did I get married because someone proved to me that I was worth the fight we both are growing together I know for a fact, I, I don't, and I said this, even, I just said this to her yesterday, because we was having a conversation. There was a lot of things that me and her went through, but I, I say to this day, and I say it wholeheartedly, I never questioned her love for me. And I have always questioned other people's love. You understand? Uh, every relationship I've been in, I've questioned. I'm not saying I've been in all bad relationships because I haven't. When I look back over my life, I was in some really good ones, but I wasn't ready. That's what I'm saying. Until you learn to heal, you can't embrace. You can have something right there, and but you can't embrace it. You can't even recognize it because I had a lot of hurt that had nothing to do with who I was with. It was because of what I had seen in other people's relationship, it was my own fear of being abandoned. I, I've always seen people cheating and carrying on, and I was afraid of being cheated on. And it's like that, that was so I, you know, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm not proud of it, but it's my story because I didn't want to be, I didn't, the thought of being made a fool of, I, I just couldn't deal with that. So I always dated somebody that were unavailable. I dated people that guys that was already involved with somebody and that worked for me. I'm not bragging because it ain't nothing cute about it. As you, you know, it's in your younger years, you don't care. When you get older, ain't nothing cute about it. And, but that's what I did and I did it and I was okay with it because again, I already know you attached. I already know you ain't back now, so I ain't gonna get super attached. I'm not, I can't get attached to you because I already know how you are. You're cheating with me on her, so I already know you're going to cheat on me with somebody else. So I, you will never be in a for real relationship. It is, it's going it's to be what it's going to be, and I'm going to move on. And that was my attitude. But sometimes you get tired of running. And when somebody show you that they truly do love you, even when you're constantly trying to push them away and you're trying to make them, because that was always my thing, self-sabotage. I would always, 
if I felt myself getting too close because I didn't want to get rejected or, or abandoned, I would intentionally start doing stuff to make that person. So I wouldn't feel guilty. I didn't break up with them, but I would do stuff for them to break up with me. That was just my MO. And with Carrie, it was different. It was different. We have been through some stuff. But I, again, the same as I look at this move to Savannah, I look at how it was with me and her. It, I wasn't supposed to get married to them other people because I've been proposed to a total of three times. They were jokes to me. I didn't take it serious. I'm like, whatever. We don't even get along as girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever we is. So, excuse me. So I already know that ain't going to work. But... I knew this is I'm still learning because again I've never this is my first relationship that turned into a marriage with a woman and I'm still learning I'm still learning and at the end of the day even though she represents the male in this relationship I still have to remember regardless at the end of the day she's still a woman so the way the nonchalantness that I will handle the men with, I can't do that with her. And I have to remind myself the same things that I want to be showered with, the affection, the love, the, the, the unexpected flowers or a cute little note here and there, the little things that say I care and I'm paying attention, just like I want them. She wants them too. So, to, to answer the question, why did I get married? Because I love her. And because I knew she loved me. Anything else, we can figure it out along the way. And I, I, even in our bad times, in our real ugly times, Cause she's a hothead. I'm the calm one in the relationship. Even in, and I used to be the hothead, but oh, again, over the years you learn. I'm, I'm not the hothead anymore. I've learned to calm down, and she has, she has definitely changed. But one thing about it, through it all, through it all, even to this very day, y'all, I can truly say I have never questioned her love for me. I've always known that she loves me and she loves me for me, not for who, what I represent or what what she think I could be or what, none of that. She loved me for me and then just like I love her for her and I love it despite anything we lack. It's, it's, it's when you love a person and you love them for who they are, and you try to understand, because when you love a person, even the things you don't understand, you try to get an understanding. And that's where we are. We're still growing. We're still in the, we're basically newlyweds, like I said. But like I had to say to him, to this, and I said it, and I said it in such a nice, cute, prim type of way. Whatever... You you with somebody, so what what does it matter what I'm doing and who I'm doing it with? You're just your problem is your ego got fractured, your your ego got damaged, but it was self inflicted because you had me first, and just like I didn't allow nobody to disrespect you when we were together, I will not allow you to disrespect her. And if you don't know how to to speak correctly and respectfully concerning my wife then you have then make this your last time reaching out to me because at the end of the day whatever we call ourselves have that is long gone and it'll never ever be rekindled and I don't say never I say never say never but baby that's a wrap you with who you with, make it work. 
or move on and find you somebody else. But do not keep disturbing Stacy and Carrie. So, there you go. I love y'all, y'all. And I have another story for you. But I love you, my BSSTs. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I love you, my BSSTs. Please don't forget to like this video. Leave your comments down below. Share this video. And I'll see you in tomorrow.